Folks, this has to be one of the most popular machines in the world. This is a D6 T. Sam Meeker's with us. He's been with us before, and gosh, it's good to see you. It's it really good to is. see you too, Roger. Well, tell me what you've been doing since the last time we talked with this machine. Well, we, we've got a lot of new features on the D6 T. Um, kind of like to, to bullet them together into, uh, into the productivity, the efficiency, all right, uh, the safety of the machine, and then also a little bit of durability. So let's talk a little bit about each one of those. Let's talk productivity. Productivity. That's a key thing for any contractor. Absolutely, and, and productivity isn't just heavy dozing. Productivity is a lot of light duty work as well, and doing the, the finish grading and doing those, those mid-range tasks that these dozers right. get into. So we've got a new feature on here uh, that we call Stable Blade. Right. We've brought it up from our K2 line up into the D6T and the D7E for Tier 4 Final. And what that does is that helps to take out some of the choppiness of the dozer blade, and it helps to smooth out the finish grade, helping that operator achieve finish grade faster because he can operate a little faster on the ground and also get a better product. So, But you mentioned one key word there, and it's T for final. That's right. And that relates directly to fuel efficiency. Absolutely. Unbelievable. And that's what this machine is now. Yep. This tractor is tier four final. We're introducing that this year. All right. Um, and a couple of things Tier 4 Final is getting us is even better fuel economy right. compared to what we were with Tier 4 Interim. Okay. All right. So let, let's step back a couple of years. When we were in Tier 3, right. we went to 4 Interim, we gained about 5% better fuel economy. We get to Tier 4 Final, we're gaining about 7% better fuel economy. Ooh. All right. Now let's let, let's talk a little bit about the DEF fluid as well. Obviously, okay. these Tier 4 Final tractors, Absolutely. they take diesel exhaust sure. fluid. So we're looking at a 2% burn rate for diesel exhaust fluid. So you take that seven economy minus the two, That's and you fine. get about 5% right. better fluid efficiency. And so we, we expect customers to see that in, uh, in all applications. Where are we at horsepower-wise with this machine now uh, with the tier four? Horsepower, a lot of different numbers on the spec log anymore, and especially in the industry. I don't know how you keep track of it. it it's, it's difficult, I'll tell you that. So we'll start from the top down. It's, uh, the, the C9.3 is 252 max net horsepower. Okay, and then after you take those parasitic loads off of the fan and the air conditioner and the alternator, we're looking at about 207 net is what we're looking at on this tractor. Well, there's another key word out there, it's called sustainability. How does that meet this and, and what are the ramifications of CAT technology being placed on this machine? Yep. In, in the sustainability front, a lot of things I like to look at are, you know, we talk about the carbon footprint and, right. and the, the sustainability. That right. directly relates to fuel consumption. So the less fuel you consume, the longer, you know, the better sustainability you have on that machine. The CAT regeneration system and the NOx reduction system in here are one of the, some of the most efficient technologies in regards to tier four final, in regards to engine technology, to reduce that fuel consumption. Now what have you done operator comfort wise or safety? Let's look at that parameter a bit. Talk a little bit about safety. We've got some new features on this tractor uh, that, that help the operator and, and the owner to improve their safety on site. One is a hand railing that we've got up to our fueling platform. And so that hand railing will help the guys get up there uh, and be a little bit safer when they're putting their def in or if they're putting in their, their sure. fuel. Inside the cab. Very um, important. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Inside the cab, we've got our operator presence strategy. Okay, And so what that is, is it detects when the operator is in the seat. And let's say an operator jump out of the machine real quick to do something, he forgets to put the parking brake on the operator presence system will automatically put the parking brake on for him so that tractor wouldn't happen to roll or you know get into an unsafe situation. And, and a third and final thing, which a lot of owners will like, is we have a new uh, a seat belt light and a beeper in there. It's just like your pickup truck. Uh -uh. It's gonna beep at you if you don't put your seat belt on. Okay. Now after a couple minutes, the beeper will go off, but as so part of our cat, shut down? well, no, the machine doesn't shut down, but as part of our cat connect strategy, right. it will send a code through Vision Link to the management so that they understand, hey, this guy didn't put his seatbelt on and they can give him a call on the phone and say, hey, come What's on, happened? bud.